Hello everyone. I am Sonali Kanale, Assistant Professor of Computer Engineering Department of All India Shri Shivaji Memorial Society Institute of Information Technology. Today we are going to discuss about the reporting authority. In this uh, topic, we are going to discuss about the building reports with relational versus multidimensional data model types of reports. Then, uh, uh, data grouping and sorting filter reports like that. And uh, really, uh, develop, drill down, drill through capabilities and run on uh, scheduled reports. Different output from like PDF, Excel, CSV, XML, etc. So, but uh, in building reports with relational and multidimensional data model, relational data uh, databases arrange uh, organized data points with defined uh, relationship for easy access. Conceptually, uh, multidimensional database uses the idea of data cube to represent the dimensions of data uh, available to a user. MDPS uh, have three uh, or many dimensions to them. Label as X, Y, and Z dimension. So there are some challenges of uh, report authoring. First one is accessing relevant information quickly and easily. Then data consistency, vendor specific security model, and multi uh, individual reports. Then these are some solutions uh, and uh, some challenges. Provide competitive coverage, coverage for all types of reports and access all enterprise data regardless of the sources. So, uh, what is uh, first of all, what is relational data model? A relational data model is an approach to creating relational database in order uh, to uh, manage data uh, logically by uh, its structure and uh, language consistency. So, uh, in this model, the data is presented in the form of two dimensional database or uh, two dimensional tables. Uh, each table represents a, a relation of data value based on real world objects consisting of uh, columns and rows known as attributes and tuples. Uh, so these are the tables and in that uh, four columns and uh, three rows. Uh, in that uh, first given is the pair of uh, um, rows or uh, is known as attribute that is first name, last name, uh, date of birth uh, and state. These are the tuples. Uh, then relational data uh, Uh, relational data model uh, prioritize the maintenance of data integrity. This practice ensures data prevention, protection, and consistency, which are uh, critical aspects of data model uh, design, its implementation, and its future uses of storing, processing, and retrieving data. Then, uh, how to build relational data model? Uh, there are three types of the uh, in a relational data model. First is primary. Then second is uh, foreign, and then next is the uh, candidate key. Uh, primary key identify the particular row in a uh, database table. Then foreign key uh, refers to the primary key uh, to another uh, table. Candidate a uh, candidate key uh, can be selected uh, and used as a primary key. So, uh, uh, so uh, the main uh, in a uh, Build, uh, build a relational data model. Uh, you can define all types of relationship between relational representing real world objects such as one to one, one to many, many to many. Uh, then many to many uh, relationship requires a decomposition which refers to a process of uh, dividing a relationship into two or more sub uh, relation. So this process uh, creates an additional table with two or uh, one to one many sub relations and connected to the main uh, tables. So the connection between tables in relation databases are made by relational references using primary and foreign. So these are the some advantages of relational data model. Uh, data is located, advantages is that uh, data is located in single data store. It enables each department to pull data from the uh, same source rather than having separate data source. And uh, by normalizing data, you can maintain integrity and accuracy of tables uh, in your data or database model. And uh, next is the uh, model is highly secure. You can uh, limit users' access by enabling them to interact with only certain tables 
uh, that are relevant to their uh, to their work. And disadvantage is that uh, relational data model may uh, begin to seem complex as the amount of data stored in them uh, then creates uh, and its relationship become more complicated. Additionally, longer response time uh, while pairing many authors as a result of the need to join many papers and process of the data. When using the live uh, system uh, environment, running the new query, uh, especially uh, one that includes delete at the table and insert can be risky. So minor errors can affect uh, the entire data, uh, system, resulting in most time and effective performance. This is a multidimensional data model. The multidimensional data model is a method which is used to order in data in the database along with good arrangement and assembling of the contents in the database. So multidimensional data model allows customer to uh, integrate uh, analytical questions associated with market and business trends. Uh, unlike relational databases which allow customer to access data from big queries, and they allow user to rapidly uh, receive answer to the uh, request, uh, which they made by creating or uh, examining the data uh, compared to fast. Then all that means uh, online analytical processing and data warehousing various multi-dimensional database. It is used to show multiple dimensions of the uh, data to users. Uh, then uh, it represents data in the form of data cubes. Data cube allows to model and view the data from many dimensions and perspective. It is defined by dimensions uh, and facts, and it is represented by a fact table. Facts are numerical measurements, uh, and fact table contains measure of the relational dimensional table or name of the facts. Uh, this is the figure of multidimensional data representation. These are the uh, so these are the working of multidimensional data model or uh, these are some stages. First one is the assembling data uh, from the client, then uh, the grouping different segment of the system, then noticing the different uh, propositions, then preparing the actual time factors and uh, their respective qualities. Uh, then finding the quality of factors which are listed previously and their uh, qualities, building the schema to place the data with the respect to the information collected from the uh, steps above. And these are some uh, advantages and disadvantages of multidimensional data model. And these following are some uh, advantages. The multidimensional data model is easy to handle, easy to maintain. Then uh, it performs a better than that of uh, normal databases. Uh, that is relational database uh, basis. Then uh, representation of, uh, of data is better than relational database. Uh, it is work. Uh, it is workable on complex system and application, uh, contrary to the simple one-dimensional database system. And compatibility uh, in this type of database is uh, applicement of project having lower bandwidth of maintenance now. And uh, there are following also disadvantages of MDL, MDM, that is a, a first uh, the multidimensional data model is slightly complicated in nature and requires professional to uh, recognize and examine the data. During the work of multidimensional data model, when the system catches, there is a, a great effect on the uh, working of the system and it is complicated in nature due to which the database are uh, generally dynamic in this. So the path of uh, to achieving the end product is complicated most of the time. And uh, last is the, the multidimensional model has complicated system database. A large number of databases due to which the system is very insecure when there is a security break. Okay, thank you.